Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Few brief words about the holiday that just passed, which was Halloween. So the truth about Halloween is it falls into a category of the rest of the holidays, which are a thing that accumulates a lot of money for our uh, economy or our country. However, the deeper aspect of it is it comes down to control. And we know as Muslims, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in this, in this beautiful ayat, very, very popular ayat, this is this is what we believe as Muslims and is translated to and we hear and we obey. This is this is the basic belief of us as Muslims. We hear and we obey. And of course what do we hear and we obey to? We hear and we obey to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we obey to the rules of Islam and all of the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, we love, and all of the things that he hates, we hate. So our obedience is to Allah. But the thing about holidays and things of this nature, it is a it is a attempt to take some of that control and put it into the hands of the media or other people. So when this time of year comes at the end of October, people know, okay, this is this is when you obey. This is when you get your costume. This is when you go door to door and beg for candy. Next month, which will be November, or this month that we're in right now, this is the time when you get your turkey and 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 get ready for a, a feast. And in December, this is when you, you, you buy holiday gifts for your family. You see, this is this is this is how the setup is. Whatever the media or or, or this control that's happening says to do something, we are supposed to obey that. And you see it. You know, you see the different trends. You see uh, how. The decorations come, you see how the different movies change, it all shifts to you going about these things. But, or however, when we start, and we start going along with these things, then it's easy for them to start seeping in other things for you to do. And you end up doing all of these things and you say, wow, how did I end up here? It all starts in us knowing that the media is not our teachers these uh celebrities are not our teachers these this influence is not the influence of us we are grounded and bound by the quran and the sunnah of our nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's already been laid out so we don't need to go back and forth on whether we are going to celebrate these things we don't need to go back and forth on these things we do what the Quran tells us to, and we follow the ways of our Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and these are the things that we should be overly consumed with. Just trying to be like him the best way that we can, not trying to be popular, not trying to have the latest thing. Just how can we be the best Muslims that we can be? So alhamdulillah, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to be strong during these times of great influence. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our biggest influence, the Qur'an and the sunnah of our Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala.